Welcome! There have been some great news for Alpha 18, specifically by Madmol giving a hands-on in a video covering his character build and his space build. And as part of that, I've gone through and pulled out the most important information that was shared, at least from my view, and a number of things that I think are of note to discuss. It does look like Alpha 18 release is drawing very near, and Manuel putting so much time into the game and playing it extensively, bugs are being whittled down, and overall it just looks smooth and improved from Alpha 17. And whether it drops the middle or late September, that's anybody's guess, but I think that's the time frame of what to expect. So today I'm going to cover the following. One, firstly, pocket crafting for inventory expansion. Secondly, crafting is now unlocked by perk or schematics. Three, garage doors. It's going to be retracting a new one and automatic door with electricity. There's a new furniture helper that is being used for crafting. So you don't have to craft it individually and then stockpile it and try to place it down. Tools, armor, weapons now have weapon parts, armor parts, and tool parts as part of the crafting. A little bit unclear how all that works, but at least that's what's there. We have some new farm boxes for farming. And of course, we have the spiked knuckle melee. So hope you enjoy this. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment and discuss in this section below. Are you excited for Alpha 18 coming out soon? I don't know why it doesn't say complete, but uh, anyway. So I'm heavily armored, and um, my uh, stats, you know, I'm level 62, so I've got 161 health. You gain a, a level, or one health and one stamina every time you level now on Alpha 18. So that's a new thing. You no longer gain health and stamina based on your perks. It's based on level, so extra health, extra stamina. And I think that's good. It just sort of smoothens it out so we don't have to buy that. So I think that's a that's a nice change. It, I think it's to make it easier. And you have that for the food and water, of course, as well. Whoa. But you'll notice I've got uh, completely no encumbrance. That's because of the mods that I have in my clothing. So if you look at my character here, I've got a shirt and I've got this... This one here takes two off your encumbrance, and you know I've got these on all my all my um, clothing, I have my pants and my shirt. I have these pockets. So uh, with two ranks of um, pack mule, and then these these encumbrance mods, and then the pocket mods on my armor, some of some somewhere here we go. Triple storage that removes three. St I have I'm encumbrance free with only a strength rating of. Too. And that's interesting. It means that you can craft pockets for your normal clothing. Uh, if you remember from Alpha 17, you could find these uh, pockets, uh, these green ones that they show that you can put on your armor items. I don't think you could put them on clothing because those ones didn't have a quality rating and you couldn't modify them. Now you can modify this, you can put in your pockets so you don't have to boost up your pack mule. Now whether this is going to be balanced or not, because it might be that you feel that, hey, why should I waste my points on pack mule, especially going all the way up to five, if I can just craft a few pockets and I'm good to go anyway. I'm not sure whether that's any point to having pack mule then, unless you, you know, sort of just don't get the schematics to craft the pockets, because it just seems like it'll be a waste later on you don't need strength now to get rid of encumbrance there's ways around that and we're designing the whole game to be that way it, we're probably not going to be a hundred percent there in alpha 18 there's more things we'd like to do but we've got a lot of it in you know uh, you can unlock recipes with uh, you don't need to all these intellect perks you know all this stuff that you want to craft here um, like uh, all these can be found through schematics, so you don't really need these perks. I, uh, I, had, I had no luck, or the schematic wasn't in at the time when I started this game, so it was kind of like, ah, screw it, I'm going to buy it. And I've since, you know, come across the schematics for most of this stuff, but I still didn't. I wanted to do playtest electricity, so I went ahead and bought it, no big deal. But, you know, and I got a couple of these because I needed gasoline. I could not find the gas schematic. And that's a big change from the previous versions. Now, the crafting and unlocks have gone from being just uh, randomly finding a book to being entirely experienced perk bot. And now it seems like they are 
mixing and doing a sort of a dual progression. You can unlock these re recipes uh, through either perking up, which you get from uh, leveling up, and of course experience, or you can do it from looting and finding these schematics. And that's really interesting because a huge change. And you see that with um, electrician, uh, electrician perk, you do get some additional bonuses for unlocking the perk as well. I mean, you have faster crafting, you have faster at workbenches, and even XP for trap kills. So I think they're trying to keep the perk relevant, even if you have the schematic, so that it's not like you just find the schematic and you actually, the perk is entirely wasted. And I think he mentioned that, you know, they might not be all the way there for Alpha 18, but that seems to be where they're going. And I think that's a that's a nice way of doing it so that if you really want it quickly, you unlock the perk, you get some extra bonuses. If you don't, for some things you don't care so much, maybe you find the schematic and you craft it that way, but you don't have all the bonuses, not as effective because you sort of don't haven't learned all the basics of it. You sort of just read it and got a rudimentary understanding of how to craft it. And I think that's a good way of doing it. Yeah, there's my garage. That's, I'll get to that. Now let's do this. Let's just do the tour this way instead. Uh, there's my garage. I don't have the power door yet. I haven't found. I haven't found that. This is actually metal. This is a temp texture, but this is going to be a metal garage door. And you saw that one, a retracting garage door. I think that's awesome. And apparently there's a version that is a powered one, meaning you can use electricity to open and close it. And that's really nice. And we, I hope we get that for hatches and doors as well. That would be cool. Another thing that you might have noticed is that they had it, well, manual walk by some of the lights. So we are getting back more of the electricity lights that we had, I guess, in Alpha 16. Uh, whereas in Alpha 17, we had the simple light and that was it. And that one is really boring. So I'm I'm really happy that we're getting back more variety even in lights because they shine light differently. They don't all shine the same way. They somehow directed. Well, of course you had the spotlight, but some of the lights are a little bit more directed or some a bit more dispersed in sort of a, a certain shape or just in general, like the light, uh, the simple light. So it's nice to get that back. We need more of these things back. Don't remove things, please. Add on, don't remove the old things. You don't craft boxes anymore, you craft um, the furniture helper. I don't know where I've got one at. There it is. So this little helper guy, you craft this out of nails and wood, and it's whatever you want it to be. So this is a helper block, and if I want to put up a beer sign, you know, I don't have any cold beer. and Maybe I got some warm beer in here, but anyway, I could like, you know, put this guy up or whatever I can change it to any of these shapes this is all made through the helper menu so you don't need to craft all this and oh I can even make a little dog house that's awesome so that's really a big thing when it comes to building and you might have recalled I covered the shape menu and I think they're using the same way here as a furniture helper so you don't craft the individual furniture you craft this furniture block that you then turn into through the shape menu into whatever furniture you want to have so I think that's really really good I mean some nails and some wood and it means that you don't have to pre-craft everything you just make these general blocks and you go to where you want to put it down you try it out you get the outline and then you put it down and you don't end up with a lot of things that you don't need in boxes here and there or scrapping it again. And I think that's really, really nice. You could imagine this being expanded for a lot of other blocks and decorations, maybe even for lights. Maybe you have 10 different lights, you craft one generic light, one generic lamp, and then it's only when you put it down that you select which shape you want to have. John, oh, there we go. M60 power. I didn't even know I had those. What, how many? Four. So if I scrap these, I'll get three out of each one of these. Maybe seven, ten. That's close. I need, I think, fifteen for crafting a blue M60 after I unlock the last tier. So I might craft myself an M60 if I don't find a better one here and scrap, scrap these two guys and, and a few more and one more or whatever. I don't know. Or parts I find. Interesting. It seems now that you need to find the various weapon parts or scrapping the guns in order to craft more guns. And he didn't really go into the mechanics there, except, you know, you need 15 to craft a new M60 LMG. That seems to be a new thing. I mean, we've, we've gone from the earlier alphas where you find this, you know, the barrel, you find the stock, you find uh, the frame and you put it together to alpha 17 where you were crafting it from nothing, just using some steel and springs and mechanical parts by unlocking a perk. 
but now it looks like you need the actual gun parts and uh, mixing that with crafting and putting it together into the full item and i, I think that's nice I, I think it simplifies having to get individual parts like, like the barrel but also makes it a little bit more complex than just having some steel and some springs and it's a little bit more logical that maybe you scrap down some items you used up to put it together at a new gun so it's a nice addition and a bit later we're going to see Madmo showing this also being the case when you craft armor so you re require armor parts to craft and uh, whether you can craft these parts yourself or not whether you have to loot them or buy them at trader not clear but i think at least uh, it's a pretty big change from how it's been previously i don't even have all steel armor if you look at my guy here he's still got an iron helmet an iron leg armor i just can't find steel and the parts i need steel armor parts to craft steel armor so i don't really have much of that yeah right there i've got 10. um i'm gonna need 15 to craft the best you know to craft a blue so i'm not wasting these to craft something mid-tier when i can just find more and then finally have everything but uh this is my farm these are the new farm boxes you craft these guys you put them down and you plant your crops and no fuss no muss i love these things Every, the testers love them they're just great when i first saw this i was wondering like is it putting like uh, wooden uh, wooden plates on the side to make it look nicer but how does it get the the dirt sort of to spread out nicely because otherwise you normally get this gap and this is really really nice it's been a problem Every, i mean most people will have some planter boxes or well planter areas in their base where they put some of the crops um even if they don't have a full farm there some people have that as well i mean i always have on top of my buildings or near the windows i will have something similar but it looks so it looks weird it looks messy so having these planter boxes i think will just make it nice it look it looks a lot better tidier and that just makes your building more enjoyable so oh look a little wandering horde all right i wasn't planning on doing any combat Damn it. Oh, you see the melee with the spiked knuckles. There seems to be a fairly high chance of dismemberment, as you can see here, you know, heads exploding, limbs, etc. And uh, and that's cool. Maybe it uh, sounds like having a spike knuckle build is uh, as good as having a maybe a club build or machete build, which maybe shouldn't really be the case. But uh, I suspect it's the only way to make it used. Otherwise, you know, if, if it's worse than having a machete or club, no one would use it. He did highlight previously as well that they do have the mechanic that if you do the melee, and you punch in the face you sort of punch out the the teeth so you can't get infected when they bite or attack you for at least for a period of time i'm not sure whether it's permanent or whether it's just for a period of time but i think that's pretty cool so what do you think of all these things are they awesome is there anything else you picked up that uh, you think is worthwhile to cover or that you want to discuss let me know i'm really excited for alpha 18 i think it looks smooth that they look like they're playing well there are still some challenges uh, there was a fair bit of teleporting through doors and blocks when manuel had his uh, blood wound horde but you know I i'm sure they can fix these things as well hopefully we get to see more from manuel of other features that he's covering hopefully in the next week or two leading up to release i'll catch you next time special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel if you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos do follow the patreon link